on community. You mm -hmm. watched the entire category on alcohols. Mm -hmm. That went over all of the reactions, mechanisms, any sort of tricks that you need to watch out for on alcohols, yes. plus all of the synthesis questions that will come back today. Mm -hmm. So let's dive right in. This okay. is going to be perfect for your upcoming exam and your final. Okay. So we're just going to match every single reagent that goes to form each product. Perfect. Where do you want to start? I'm going to start with this one because I know there's these two that come off of it. Okay. Um, I know that the alkene, if it forms an epoxide like mm -hmm. this guy, we'll use this one. Good. And then, Oxidation. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. This one right here is a dial that's formed. Good. Two alcohols. And a good way to kind of like look at this is just seeing, well, what does this do? When is this used? So if you have the selection of different reagents. That's true. So I know this is ozonolysis. Good. Um, what is What happens typically here? Usually if I have a ring like this one, it'll break it open. Good. On an alkene. That's oh, correct. Like this one. And then that typically forms what type of functional group? Isn't it a ketone and an aldehyde? Correct. So it would have some sort of carbonyl group. Yeah. Which we don't see that option right. here coming from the alkene. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I can't use that one. Mm -mm. That's out. Is it this one? It's not. It's not that it's one? It's not. Let's come back to this one. Okay, okay, we'll come back. And let's see what else we know. So okay. keep going. Um, so in this case, if I go from this to an alkene, mm -hmm. I'll probably have like an elimination reaction. Good. And in this case, it's a secondary, mm -hmm. so it could be E1 or E2. Correct. What options do we have as reagents for elimination? Elimination, we were looking at, this could be a possibility. Good. This one also could be a possibility. Well, actually, no, this would be more for alcohols, huh? Correct. And this one's also alcohol. Mm -hmm. This was that one. Yep. And that one. Yep. Okay, oh, these are all alcohol. And this one, too. Is it just this one? That's correct. That is correct. Go ahead and place it. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. That is an option. Um, what you said here where, yes, this is going to be an elimination reaction. Mm -hmm. This is a bulky base, mm -hmm. right? Another option could have been this one here, since that would have been an E2 reaction. It's oh, a strong true. nucleophile. Yeah. However, I would say this is going to be the better option mm -hmm. because it only gives you one product. Versus this one will give yeah. you two products because it's a secondary alkyl halide, and we don't have that option here with two different products, yeah, the true. substitution product and the elimination product. That makes that's sense. That's why this one's better. Okay, no, that's why it makes sense. So in this case, we'd be looking at getting, like, because the spectator will leave, the spectator mm -hmm. add-on will leave, and then we'll just have the ether left. Good. Which would be this one right Good. here. Good. Like this. Yes. And actually, I'm going to oh, yeah. okay. switch it, okay. just because this is going true the other way. I know it's upside down. That's fine. Like that. But good. That's, that's right so far. Okay. Keep going. So then now we'll work on the alcohol up here. So mm -hmm. if an alcohol forms a ketone... I'm looking at these guys right here. Because it's classified as primary, secondary. Good. What kind of alcohol is that? This one right here is, uh, oh, right here, secondary. Good. So we'd be looking at secondary to keep telling this one. Good. Would work, right? That would is work. Is there more, though? There's several. I know there's more. Because this one would also be one. Correct. And then this one as well. What else? Would it be this one? Wouldn't be that one. Just this one? So hold on. I'm going to kind of move these around. This is still going to work because uh -huh. it's a secondary alcohol. So far, we have four options. Yeah. There's still a couple more. Let's look over here. Um, Do you remember this guy? Not really. No. no. Okay. Uh. That's okay. <laughs> the fact that you remembered that, hey, these are all the different options is ones. good. <laughs> it's good because they're not necessarily going to have every single one since there are so many options. Uh -huh. But in this case, I wanted to throw it just to okay. show you that there are several possibilities here. And we're not always going to use all of the reagents that are provided, especially if that's what they're doing for yeah. an exam question. So these are all the possibilities that would get us from a secondary alcohol to a ketone. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So I'm going to go this one because I know this one mm -hmm. kind of well. Um, and then if we were to go to, from an alcohol to an alkyl halide, mm -hmm. we would use, and it's a secondary. Good. Even just looking at this, what changed here? Yes. Okay. And it had to have the bromine, bromine to even be there, right? That's, the That's why we're also not necessarily using that to form a ketone. Mm -hmm. This is actually forming an alkyl halide. Oh, perfect. Secondary okay. alcohol, perfect. alkyl halide. That makes sense, too. And then our last one. Okay, that one is this one. The dial that's formed. Good. That's right. You're right. Place it. Yeah, okay. I knew it when you moved things around, then I was like, oh my gosh, I remember now. Makes um, it easier. And then, let's see, from an alcohol to an alkene, again, you have 
an elimination reaction. Good. Alcohol is a bad leaving group, so you'd have to have... What do you have to form first? Because alcohol can't leave on its own. That OH can't leave. Water. Good. What's going to allow us to form that? You could form a water with... Let's see. I go with this one. Good. So far. Yes. Since that's the one I'm familiar with. This but. is an elimination reaction. Specifically is E1. I'm just going to put it here just so we know. Mm -hmm. This is a dehydration reaction, mm -hmm. right, that we covered going from an alcohol to an alkene. Mm -hmm. And you've got all of them right now. So also remembering, of course, that this could have been any of yeah, these other it. options. Okay. So there's actually five choices that you could have placed okay. here. And this is going back from knowing that a secondary alcohol forms a ketone, mm -hmm. a primary alcohol with... This one specifically, mm -hmm. chromic acid, forms a... Carboxylic acid. Good. It forms a carboxylic acid. Yes. Good. <laughs> and then all of the other ones that we saw, this one, these, when we do have a primary alcohol, that's going to form a... Aldehyde. Yes. Uh -huh. Forms an aldehyde. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Good. So, great start. So, difficulty level two. Mm -hmm. We've moved on. Now, what we're going to do is we're just given the structure. We're going to draw the missing structures in between. Mm -hmm. And think of it like this, with this reagent, forms what? Okay. Then from there, we look at the next reagent. What does that form? Okay. From there, again, going again. All of the missing structures. Okay, so you're saying. Lots so of starting here, you have to start here, unfortunately. Yes. Okay, okay, that's perfect. I've made this entire video for you absolutely for free, only on Community. Sign up today, and let's keep this study session going over there. We can have multiple steps. Mm -hmm. It's not just one reagent that's perfectly going to make whatever we want to look, yeah. look for here for this ketone.